Hello, and welcome to Riding Lessons 101. You guys are riders, so I'm not going to make some doctored introduction here. We're going to skip stuff regular people need and get right to telling you what we're going to do in this class. This class is going to organize what's in this bookshelf and make it plain enough that you'll be able to explain it to your horses in the language of riding with your seat, your leg, and your reins. After this 101 class, you'll know the ways of training that have been vetted, tested, and proven over centuries. You'll be able to evaluate any training concept and therefore any trainer that you run across in the horse world. You'll know what's on the mark and you'll know what isn't. But we're not going to spend too much time pointing out what's wrong. Instead, we're going to describe and explain exactly what, why, and how a forward through going horse is necessary and right for all riding, whether the riding is Western, whether the riding is English, or whether the riding is for pleasure, or for service work, or whether the riding is for tending stock, or whether it is sport riding, like racing, polo, eventing, stadium jumping, and especially for dressage, because dressage is all of these, since it's just a fancy French word for training. So, riders, let's get straight to it. To make a good start, we must face the theory. And these talks may not be a thrill, but this theory is crucial. Pay attention and you'll soon know all basis of good riding and it will be your basis. To keep us organized, I'm gonna set forth the topics like a list that we're going to face. You don't need to take notes. I'm going to give you an outline with these topics and a syllabus later on. The first thing we're going to examine is the adage, ride your horse forward and set it straight. This is an adage that many people quote, but that few can explain with certainty and fewer yet train it. We're going to understand this adage in context well enough so that training it will be obvious, simple, and normal. Ride forward and set straight have been called the two golden rules of riding. Blowing off these rules leads to all resistance, faults, training issues, and even ruins horses. But the good news? When we follow these two simple golden rules, we'll have none of those problems, and the way of going will be rideable, easy, and indelible in our horses' minds. Number two, we will learn the trainer's aim. This is the target aim for anyone and everyone who wants to ride well or train a horse properly. Number three, we'll examine the terminology of riding and training and give you a vetted glossary. Too often these definitions and terms are neglected or mangled by overuse and have become vague buzzwords. For many of you, just the careful reading of these terms will answer many, many, many horse training questions. These terms will be given to you in a glossary that you can keep on your phone or computer, or you can print it out like a booklet. This glossary is something that you'll be able to give to your friends and your students. Number four, we're going to spell out what is an educated horse. An educated horse can only be made by an educated rider. Number five, we'll talk about the reading list, all the textbooks in this bookshelf. Right now, you do not need to buy or read the reading list. Don't worry. When it's important for you to have the actual text, 
I will give you handouts with the sections that we'll need to begin with, so don't be intimidated by this bookshelf. One thing that's very important is that you're familiar with where these ideas are found in the reading because that's how you can assess and discern whether an idea is going to function and, and whether it's correct writing. We need to be able to find the ideas that we're installing in our horses in every textbook, not just one. The repetitive ideas in these textbooks are the key, not certain single specific fake temporary baubles. It is the repeated ideas in every cavalry manual and all of these textbooks that are the way of training. I hope that this is very clearly understood. When this foundation knowledge is clear, then we'll attack the main part of this course. We're going to distill this bookshelf onto one single page. Then we're going to distill it onto an index card and put it in your back pocket. We're literally going to convert this bookshelf of information and make ready to install it into the horse's butts by heart. We're going to put theory into practice. These starting topics that I've just laid out are going to need to be separate discussions and separate lessons. And for lack of a better word, there, there'll be lectures. You're going to have to sit through them. There's no way to properly begin without this preparation because this is information that must be known and understood before we swing a leg over a horse, before we're in the arena breaking a sweat. When this stuff's not known, training is waylaid. This isn't stuff to explain during riding, but it's stuff we must reference during riding. It's what we want in our training. We're, so we're going to understand it, we're going to be able to see it, explain it, feel it, then we're going to ride it and teach it. Please understand, chances are, unless you're training in Western Europe, you're probably training some wrong ideas and incomplete information. This will cripple your future riding and it may even cripple your horses. We all must conform to the proven ways of riding. Never trust a horse trainer who trains and rides their own way or who says things like, this is how I like to do it. Sad to say, it's a near guarantee these days that the trainers with a lot of clicks and likes are either going to screw you up or slow your progress. Love your horses and respect riding enough to train the complete set of facts. Horse training is a system and a language and it has doctrines and it's not complicated and it doesn't take forever. It will take you the right way. You won't find it anywhere else right now. Thank you. God bless.